Hi everyone, we're going to factor these two problems here. So basically, the first one is a trinomial, and I'm going to write this out here. I know the first two terms have to be a 4a, so uh, you can try 2 and 2, or 4 and 1. I'm going to go ahead and try the 4 and 1 because I need a 1 here and I have a negative 3 here. You can try different ones, but if I use a 4a and a, I know that 3 is prime. So I put a 3 here and a 1 here. Um, excuse me. I need um, a positive 1a. So I'm going to let this be plus 1 minus 3. Now let's just double check to see if we did this right. Because this one's a little harder than the others. 4a times a is 4a squared. 4a times 1 is 4a. Negative 3a is going to be minus 3a. Then we have minus 3. You always have to add these two middle terms. So you get 4a squared plus a minus 3. So this is correct. So we got back to our original answer. Now the second one, we're going to first have to use our guidelines for factoring and check for the greatest common factor. I can divide each of these pieces by t. Oh, and also 2. So instead of losing the divisor, just pull it out. That's your greatest common factor. And you're left with t squared plus 16t plus 64. Now, um, I'm going to use this little uh, ninja chart. I need a 64, two numbers multiplied 64, but when you add them together, you get 16. And that would be 8 and 8. And it's nice because everything's positive here. So, you're going to write 2t, and this is going to be t plus 8 times t plus 8. Since these are the same, um, these are called perfect square trinomials. And what you can do is write this as uh, 2t and just put this together. So like if you had x times x, you would call that x squared. And now since you have two of the same, just write t plus 8 and just put the square there. It makes it look a little better. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.